uppercut. Yes, I know that my editing is absolutely terrible and I should be ashamed, but I'm not really and I think the intro was great. Anyways, I have been away for about one week in Edinburgh or Edinburgh, whatever you guys want to say, in Scotland and during that time, Doomfist was released and I haven't made a video on that and uh, well, by the time I'm making this video right now, Probably there's been over a thousand videos on Doomfist so far, so me making another video talking about how useful he is and how insanely mobile he is and all his abilities what they do would be useless because you guys have already seen 20 videos of every single big youtuber in the entire world making a video on that so i'm going to make something a bit more uh, different instead instead of all this Doomfist content i'm just going to give you guys a mercy montage be ready for some intense gameplay, guys. Now, but honestly though, everyone has talked about how mobile he is and I always thought it would be interesting to go into a couple of custom games and just try it out and see where I could go. And the first one here is on King's Row. You can see I walked all the way from the statue all the way into the window right here and it wasn't really hard at all. I mean, it's just the combo of Rocket Punch, Rising Uppercut and Seismic Slam. And that's basically the way you get around. You can also use your ultimate, but you can see here on the Icon Vault flank, you can go so far with these three abilities, it's actually insane. And you will see another one in a bit that's even more insane than that. Now here on Hollywood, you can see if they have a teleporter behind, you can go get that from the high ground and just jump over the rocket punch. And this one, this is insane. I, I mean, I didn't think this was going to be possible, but it actually was. And I don't think you can use the ultimate to do this. I think you have to do the way I'm doing it in this video. You just rocket punch over here behind the entire map. And then you just rising uppercut and seismic slam and you fly all the way over there. Like the range on seismic slam is insane. Now this one on Dorado is not that useful. I, I don't know. There might be cases where you have to use this. But I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool though. I didn't even know there was a platform here you could stand on. And then you just stand here and uh, jump and rocket punch and rising uppercut and seismic slam. And you're over here behind them. I guess you could technically go from here and flank the healers or something if they were fighting on the point. And then if you just want a face roll go around, you can use your ultimate, but then again, you don't have an ultimate after that, which is kind of boring, I guess. Uh, here you can also go on the left side, if you, like, if you flank on the left side, and then you don't want to go straight into the enemy team, you can go up here, and then you can just rocket punch over this roof and get behind them without being really seen. Which is pretty cool, I guess. You can go and kill the healers here with your ultimate or whatever you want to do. And if you have to escape and you don't want to go straight through the team again, you can go up here. If you have time, assuming you have time for that, which might be very hard. But you're actually hovering the air a bit after you're using your racing uppercut, which makes it very easy for you to do stuff after that with your uh, rocket punch. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys a couple of cool things you can do as Doomfist. And I obviously want to make more videos on Doomfist when it's actually released, but for now I just only wanted to make one video on it and just some interesting flank routes I guess and that's because I just saw so many other youtubers make like a billion videos on Doomfist so you have enough information anyways on it and when he actually comes out I want to make some gameplay of him and all that but for now that's going to be it for this video I hope you guys did enjoy it and found it interesting at least and I'll see you in the next one guys take care and if you want to subscribe you can do that or leave a like you know the drill you've been on YouTube before so see you until next time